welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Daniela I am a professional kite foiler training for the 2024 Olympics I also picked up winging over the past couple years and in this video I'm gonna teach you how to tack a wing this is gonna be the heel side to toe side tack a lot of people find this tack actually much harder than the toe side to heel side tack which I will make sure to leave a link for that video down below but I actually found this tack to be a little bit easier for me. I think it's because of my experience from kite foiling and doing just tacks on a kite foil because the movement is pretty similar. So yeah, that was just me, but let's get into the heel side to toe side tack. I like to break it down into three parts. You got your entry, transition, and the exit. Let's break it down. So in the entry, you're bringing the wing up. I think one important thing is to make sure your upwind arm is pretty straight because that will just help with kind of throwing that wing to the new side. And just before you feel the wing is about to engage or just before you get to the new side, you want to look under your armpit. This is so important. I talk about this all the time, both with the other tack and with some kiting maneuvers. It just makes such a big difference because you go where your eyes go. Next is the transition. And this part is definitely the trickiest because it's from the time when the wing engages on the new side to bringing your lower body around. So in this section, I think one big thing to remember is you want the majority of your weight to stay on top of the board. So your upper body is going to be kind of rotated to the new side and it's important to kind of make sure your lower body follows and if it's too far off to the side you're going to end up wiping out. I kind of get into more of like a seated position. You'll notice that I kind of look like I'm doing a little like squat in a way and that feels pretty comfortable for me and it definitely helps me just get, get my weight to the new side. Next is the exit. So in the exit, your wing has engaged in the new side, you've carved the board and it's past head to win and now you're gonna be changing your arms. Again, super important is look at the downwind or your back handle of the wing where you're gonna be putting your new back arm because you go where your eyes go, and if you can spot that, then it's gonna make the whole movement a lot easier, I think, and it helps with just riding and foiling out of the maneuver, and by doing this, you can get to controlling the power of the wing right away. So, a couple tips. A lot of these are gonna be really similar to the toe side to heel side tack. One big thing is to be comfortably powered, so you wanna be powered enough that you can foil out of the maneuver, but not so overpowered that it's difficult to throw the wing to the new side. Gear makes a really big difference, so a surfy lower aspect foil is gonna be easier to turn, but a little bit more difficult to foil out of the maneuver, while a higher aspect foil will be harder to turn, so a little bit more difficult to do that initial carve in the maneuver, but a little bit easier to ride out of it due to the gliding ability. Another thing to think about is a bigger board, I found, is a little bit harder to tack just because that extra size can be a little bit more difficult to turn, while a smaller board is going to be a little bit easier to turn. But when you have a bigger board, there's more margin for error because you can just kind of touch down for a second and pop right back up whereas with a smaller board sometimes that's a little bit more difficult to do so it just kind of depends on what you're comfortable with so yeah that's the heel side to toe side tack i hope that was helpful for you guys make sure to share this video with someone that's struggling with their winging tacks be a good friend help them out thanks so much for watching make sure to like this video and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video thanks bye